everyone, Satorn here giving you another quick Vicky 3 tutorial. This time is going to be all about naval invasions. Let's get into it. If you want a naval invade, you need boats. So the first thing to think about is naval bases, and they're quite expensive for smaller nations. Uh, you need mana wars, so that's definitely going to cost you something uh, if you don't have that already in your market. In addition, you don't mobilize your naval bases. They're always in effect, so you're always paying the max amount. Not like uh, barracks and your army, which you can actually pay a lower amount uh, You know, when you're not at war. Here, uh, your government expense is pretty high, and you can almost see we're almost at like 5,000 uh, just for a size 6 naval base, and that'll give us 6 flotilla. You want to plan ahead when you want to start to have a navy for your nation because it takes a long time to train it up. You see here the training rate is plus 18. This is at a size 6. So let's compare this to a barracks. Uh, we have a barracks here that is a size 15. So again, double the size, a little bit more than double the size. But they have a plus 300 training rate. So you can see the difference here. Like plus 300 compared to what did we have in the naval base? We had right a very small 18. One penalty you may forget also is when you change your production methods. So you can see here, if we went to ironclad, it's not available yet. There would be an equipment adjustment and we get a minus 75% of your offense and defense on your boats uh, for 12 months. So for a whole year and the same thing would go for your troops. So before you do a naval invasion, make sure you have the right production methods that you want. So step one of a naval invasion is that you have to have your army and your general in the same headquarters. So you see we have Indochina headquarters as your navy so we can see here if we go to navy and we choose to do a naval invasion we're going to click here it's going to show the three generals that we have available in that headquarters switching over to great britain real quick let's choose one of their admirals they have a bunch of hqs so you can see here we'll have uh, one general so lionel will be here we go to the next admiral we can choose the same location now we have other generals that we can choose from so again if you're looking for a specific general you got to make sure that an admiral is also there that you can use to do that naval invasion being able to switch generals around to different hqs as well as admirals i don't see that in the game if you guys do know anything about that please put it down in the comments below our first example of a naval invasion is going to be to Parak. We have 15 army right now, and we have six flotilla. So I'm going to show you what happens when we do this. Uh, we have one general. We're going to say naval invasion from Cambodia to Parak. Get that set up. And now we can go back uh, to your navy here, and you can see how many days we have left. So it's going to be 50 days until this is ready. We let some time pass. We have five days left. And what's going to happen is a new front is going to open up here, and we can check it out and see. So we have a new battle. And what's going on here? We could hover over. Look, there's a minus 59% uh, percent insufficient naval invasion support and a minus 25% difficulty landing uh, that we're getting here, which is really, really bad, right? So we know uh, it's almost 100%. Regardless of what we rolled here, we're going to lose. We have an offense of three, uh, which is really bad compared to the defense of 26. So why did we get insufficient naval invasion support? And why did we get difficult landing? So the reason why we're getting that 59% penalty due to insufficient naval support is because we have six flotilla to our 15 regulars that are in our army. So what you need to do is really get close as possible to a one-to-one -one with your navy to your regulars or to uh, even if you have conscripts in your army. So the way to do that in this example is we would probably create another general in the same HQ as our admiral. And now we can split our army up. And again, this is going to cost bureaucracy, so it's not really the best. But uh, that will now get us an army to seven. And that'll be, uh, you know, much closer without any penalty. We could do it one more time and we get to five and we know we'll have no penalty at all. So we'll get another armed forces here. And now we can see we split up our army, those 15 into now uh, three different regiments or three different uh, generals are now commanding them. And what we could do uh, after the, we lose this battle, we could try another naval invasion. And I'll show you that. And we shouldn't be getting that penalty at all. That minus 25 penalty that you're getting due to difficult landing during a naval invasion can be removed once you research landing crafts. So you can see right here, it ignores a difficult landing penalty. So you want to get to this as soon as possible, especially if you're doing a lot of naval invasions. This is our second naval invasion where we're having five regulars and we're five days away. So we're going to let time tick here and see the battle should be better. We shouldn't have the penalties. I still don't think we're going to win because we probably don't have enough troops uh, to be doing this. We really should be having more flotilla. We can see here we have an offense of 20, which is good. So that's higher than their defense of 17, which is very nice. 
Um, they didn't get a bonus here. We got a morale damage bonus. I still don't think we're strong enough. We have that minus 25% difficult landing. So if our tech was a little bit better, uh, we wouldn't be getting this negative as well. And probably we could win the fight. But here, yeah, we're still not quite there. Uh, yeah, we only have one battalion or one uh, regular versus their four. So our morale is probably not going to hold up as well. Yeah, we're going to lose this battle. But you guys can see it's much better without the penalty. And actually, we're fighting back here. I hope this video clears up some confusion. I know war in general is very confusing. There's a lot of random stuff going on. Naval invasion, I felt like I could talk about. I don't, not sure if this is going to change much. There's a patch coming this December in 2022, so I'm not sure how that's going to impact this, but I figured if you're playing the game right now, you still need to know how it works. If you like this type of information, hit that like, subscribe, notification button. They're free, and as always, for the swarm.